What's your life like today? Well, I'm obviously out. I'm at the lowest point ever in my life. My dad was joking last week, well, you can only go up from here. Lowest point, how so? Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong in my life. Before I was arrested, I had quite a bit of money. Two houses, two cars. I had a job that I loved, that I made a lot of money doing. I had a fiance, totally loved and adored. Tell us about Landy and what she has meant to you during this entire process, because there was a time you're basically in a jail, you've been charged with horrific crimes, and yet there was still someone in your life who believed in you. I've been in love with her ever since I met her. She's the deepest, funniest person I've ever met. Because with every woman I've ever dated, oh my God, I've got a laundry list of things I don't like. Because that's just the way I am. I'm super picky. No one ever pleases me. I always find fault in everybody. No one's ever been perfect for me. So you proposed and you were engaged. I proposed in China and she said yes. She said, okay, when, when we're in America, we'll get married. And after all that time in jail, what was it like to walk out into freedom. You can't really describe your freedom once you get out. Your daddy help you a little? The only sad part was is that I couldn't see my daughter. Three years that I haven't seen her. That causes me the most stress in my life. That's what causes most of my depression. Are you in any way a threat to your daughter today? Of course not. Physical threat, psychological threat, anything like that? Um, if anything, I'm overprotective. I love you more than anyone in the world. I'm continuing to fight for you. I never abandoned you. If the day ever comes that you're adopted by another family, I don't want you to ever think that I gave up on you or stopped fighting for you. I have taken two felonies because I would rather be a felon and raise you than not.